a D clicker in Audacity for free. Let's check it out. Hey guys, Joe Easy here again. Hey, I wanted to do another review of another plugin that I found, and this time we're talking about a D clicker plugin. A lot of times when uh, you've got a lot of mouth noise during sometimes, you need to definitely carry your water with you and do what you need to do to stay hydrated, but that doesn't always do it. And sometimes uh, clicks can come through in your vocals. And this may happen for singers, this may happen for, in my case, voice uh, doing voiceovers. So uh, this is a tutorial. We're going to go through where to get this plugin. We're going to go to how to install this plugin on a Mac. I'm going to give a, a folder link down in the description below to do it on Windows. And then we're going to go use it. We're going to open up Audacity and we're going to go check it out and we're going to show you what this actually does with that. So uh, if you want to skip forward to that part, go for it. Um, I don't care. That'll be great with for you guys. But um, if you want to learn how to install it, let's let's stick around. We're going to do that next. So in this part, we're going to open up the link that's in the description. We're going to go to this place and you'll see it's, it's basically a forum. And this forum is really old. I think it happened back in, yeah, 2014. Uh, a guy named Paul L. Don't know who Paul L. L. is, but he's, he's a pretty good guy. Uh, thank you, Paul L., whoever you are and wherever you may be, for these two plugins. So I'll encourage everybody to go get dclicker.ny and dsr.ny. Go save them. And what we're going to do is we're going to take that. We're going to open up our Audacity finder folder. So we're going to go to applications. We're going to look at the audacity.app and we're going to control click here. So on a control click, we get a couple of extra options and, and that's what we're looking for here. So we're going to show package contents, open that up. That's great. And it, you kind of see the folder structure here. We're going to go to Nyquist. We're going to go down a level. We're going to go to plugins. Inside of plugins, this is where you want to put those two files that you just downloaded. And I've already done that here. It's just like a, uh, one of those cooking shows. So already done. Uh, dclicker.ny and dclicker or dsr.ny are both in this folder. That's what I need to start things up. And what we'll need to do then, we'll close out of this and we'll go open our Audacity app. So, so now in Audacity, now that we've opened that up, we're going to go and we have to activate these plugins. They're not going to work just out of the box. You're not going to see them unless you go activate them. So go to the effect drop down. This should be the same on Windows. Go to add remove plugins and you'll have to search for the DS or in the declicker. Um, in this case, this one is about the declicker. So that's what we're going to talk about. And so go to it. Uh, a lot of times I think it'll say new if you've just installed it, if Audacity has just recognized that. Make sure you you turn Audacity off and then start it up again in order to do this. That, that'll make sure that it's seen. So that, I definitely recommend that. But make sure it's considered enabled in this state and then click OK. And then you should have the option of a declicker in, in your list here. So now we're going to go and we're going to look at the file and we're going to do some audio with that. So I've recorded a little bit here and what this is going to illustrate is a mouth click. So inside of this piece of audio towards the end here, get your good headphones on. What you're going to listen to is you're going to hear a little bit of mouth noise. And, and I think it's, it's not great. It's not something that I would like to give to a client. So we like to clean this stuff up. And so let's go ahead and give that a play. The series explores the little-known, deeply interconnected society of big cat conservationists and collectors in America. So if you heard that towards the end there, that was the click. And what we're going to do is we're going to open up, we're going to select our piece here. We're going to go to the effect of the declicker. And I haven't done hardly anything with this. Um, I'm going to leave these in a very default state. Please adjust this to your liking. You're going you're gonna to figure out where these go, how many passes you need to do, what type of frequencies you want to do. So if you look at this here, this... 150 to 13833, those are the frequencies that are targeted within this tool right now, according to what I've set it at. Um, these may be different for you for whatever sound you're trying to reduce. So play with it, learn from it, and, and just practice and practice and practice, and you'll find what works. So what we're going to do here is we're going to, I'm going to apply this declicker in a isolate changes mode. And what this is going to do is this will show you what the declicker is going to try to reduce. So I'm going to apply that here. 
And what you can see here is all that's left is all of the clicks. And so this gives you a visual and uh, honestly an audio representation of the clicks that it found throughout your sample. And that's what it's going to go target. So I'll, just for fun, I'll play this for you here. Pretty interesting, right? So it's it means nothing as it is on its own, but what it's doing is is really nifty. So I'm gonna control Z that, and what we're gonna do instead is we are going to actually apply the declicker instead of isolate changes, let's apply those changes. I like to use the isolate to get an understanding of how much this is gonna do for me, if I've gone overboard, if I haven't done enough. So again, play with it, use it as your at your own discretion. So. Let's apply the changes here. And you can see the waveform kind of change a little bit. Uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in to the trouble spot. Um, and I think this is our trouble spot right here. I'm going to undo changes and redo changes. And you can see, there it is right over here. Those are some of the clicks, the nasty clicks that were in there. So if I redo the changes, you can see that really takes them out. I'll kind of go back and forth a couple of times. You can see how much the clicker is taking out there. Eh, it took a little bit of something out right here too. Um, so let's go ahead and we'll play those two back to back. We'll play it normal again, and then we will play it as a, a redone file again and let you judge. The series explores the little-known, deeply interconnected society of big cat conservationists and collectors in America. Then we'll redo the changes. The series explores the little-known, deeply interconnected society of big cat conservationists and collectors in America. So, I think it works great. I, th I think there's a lot of stuff that you have to play with here. Be careful. Don't overdo it because you can start taking out your, your T's and your C's. So, so don't turn it up too high or we'll, you'll have a problem. Um, but let me know what you think. I think I love it. I've been using it for a couple of weeks now and I really think it smooths my audio out. I think I feel a lot better of sending things to my clients and I think they like it just as much. Um, and there's, there's something about it. I think it gives it kind of a, a nice warmth to the file. So take a look at it, check it out and uh, let me know your thoughts. Leave me some comments below, subscribe. I'm going to try to do a lot more of these if I can. And, uh, if you like to, uh, go ahead and check out, I think we're going to go over this way, and see if you can check out the de-esser fund. That's going to be it. So thank you guys. Have an awesome week. Do something cool with audio, and we'll see you later.